Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. So, um, let's get into the reading, guys. <laughs> I was about to say, so, guys. And it, it almost came out so lies. So, I don't know. Somebody's lying. But anyway, let's get into the reading, all right? Holy Spirit, God, angels, ancestors, spirit guys, spirit team of the highest white light. Please be with me for this reading for my Libra Collective. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please protect me as I channel the energy for the Collective, Holy Spirit. If there's any evil eye, negative energy spell word being sent this way, I ask that it is handled according to your will. I'll say amen. All right. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why I said, almost said all lies. <laughs> all right, lies. All lies. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so, right, right as I turned to do the reading and before I press record, y'all remember as told by ginger? Ginger could be important. Ginger root, ginger snaps. Somebody may eat those. Y'all remember ginger snaps? Somebody may eat those or... Um, gingerbread may be significant. We are getting around the holidays. So something about ginger. Somebody could even be a redhead. Um, and I don't know if that's an offensive term or not. If it is, I'm not saying it as an offensive term for that. I don't know. But um, somebody could just have a red, head, red hair. Um, yeah. But anyways. And I'm, now I'm hearing drama. I'm hearing Clash of the Titans. What's going on? I was trying to watch TV, and the spirit was like, you're supposed to be at the table. I was like, ugh, all right. <laughs> Not that I didn't want to give y'all messages. It was just like, I don't know. Because they had already told me one time, and then I started watching TV, and it's like, no, you're supposed to be at the table. And I'm like, ugh, got to pause my show. I was about to watch Housewives of Potomac, y'all. That's my stuff. But anyways, so I just came to be obedient, give y'all this message. <laughs> So let's see what comes out. Um, I'm going to look up the lyrics of that song. Oh, I said that because As Told by Ginger. So there was a show in the 90s called As Told by Ginger, guys. Is it um, on Nickelodeon? And the song, the theme song was like, Someone once told me the grass was much greener on the other side. Well, I paid a visit. Na, 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 na. And then I don't know the rest of the song, so I'm going to try to... That's why I'm looking it up. Um, Till further notice. And I think Macy Gray did the theme song. So somebody's name could be Macy. Okay, last name Gray. So I'm just going to um, try to get the lyrics right quick. Something about the grass being greener. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side, but they went and took a look and found out that it wasn't, is what I'm getting. So. Yeah, it says, someone once told me the grass was much greener on the other side. Well, I paid a visit. Well, it's possible I missed it. It seemed different, yet exactly the same. Okay. And then, till further notice, I'm in between. From where I'm standing, my grass is green. Okay. So, I, this just gave me, like, copycat vibes. Like, somebody thought the grass was the greener on the other side. They thought that something was better on the other side. But it's, they say, he's, the song says, well, it's possible I missed it. It seemed different, yet exactly the same. So this, I feel like copycat energy, like somebody trying to be you, wanting to be you. Like I said, this person could have, somebody could have went towards something that looked better. They thought the grass was greener on the other side because this person was trying to be in your likeness. Okay. But it's like, it seemed different, but the, but the same, but not really the same. Like, I don't know. It's, it's giving me copycat energy. Also, what I'm getting from that is somebody thought that they were leaving one situation to go to a better situation, but turned out that they were they were back in that same type of situation, just with a different person in a different body. Okay, so if somebody left some type of 
toxic, narcissistic person or job environment or whatever and went to another one thinking that it was better, went somewhere else thinking that the grass was greener over that side, found out that, no, it wasn't greener. It just looked greener because it was fake, you know? Mm, yeah, still still giving me fake energy, doppelganger energy and things like that. Something looks looked better because it was fake, but turned out that it was exactly the same. So somebody thought that they were getting that they were getting like a better version of you or they thought that something was better than you or something but they found out that it was fake or something child i'm getting so many scenarios and whatever i'm hearing doppelgangers and all type of ish mm. all right so i don't know where, where we're going what deck are we using spirit because i'm hearing the name lisa No, I I don't know what we're using because I wasn't prepared. The black tarot. Okay. I'm hearing stingy and greedy. Ace of Cups on the split. New energy, new love. New beginnings. Whoops. Ace of Wands on the split. Ace, Ace of Cups to the Ace of Wands. What? All that new new. Somebody's from Atlanta. Somebody's name is London. I'm hearing new new from ATL. Okay. Somebody's name is Tiffany. Somebody's last name could be Harris. Ace of Wands. Something about Atlanta, Georgia, ATL is significant. And the Ace of Cups. Sparks flying. Chemistry. Passion. Love. Child, what's going on here? Ace of Spears. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. I'm taking these out. <laughs> Yo. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I just got excited. Ace of Spears. You had the Ace of Cups show up first. The Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Dangong Spears. That's like the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Chariot behind that. Oh, and Lord, look at that. There go the Ace of Swords. Oh, my gosh. There's some truth that's coming out about something. Y'all got all four Aces showing up in the deck. Six of Cups. You're going to find out some type of truth and clarity about something from your past or somebody from your past. Somebody could be missing you. You got Scorpio energy showing up. Ooh, something, something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. Okay. <laughs> Do I keep this deck? No, uh, they want me to pull from a different deck. I'm, they just want me to pull the aces out. Wow. All four aces. Okay. Um, Where are we going next? <laughs> Love Oracle? Okay. Love Oracle. I guess it's a love reading, y'all. You have a relationship on the split with Secret Crush. <laughs> I'm hearing endings and new beginnings. Somebody's at a crossroads right now. Endings and new beginnings. New love. You have a choice to make. A cross. Somebody could be at a crossroads when it comes to new love. Oh, my gosh. And then relationships are getting on the split. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. That's first. I got to stop being hard-headed. Chris said, take them two, child. Any more? No? Top of the deck? Unexpected. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, somebody got new love coming in, child. There's new love. There's a relationship brewing. There's new love here. Um, commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, new beginning. Didn't I just say endings and new beginnings? There's new love coming in, y'all. Yes, finally. <laughs> Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Get excited, y'all. Get excited. Uh, I don't want to get excited too quickly, but we're going to keep positive energy in this read. So I'm about to light my rose quartz um, incense, honey, from Ganesh. Okay. Ooh. Wow. I know where we're going next. Y'all, this is a go with the flow type of reading. I'm, I'm telling you, spirit was pushing me to, this, to the desk, honey. 
Because I they told me earlier to come to the desk. And I was like, eh, all right. And I started doing other stuff and just being hard-headed. And I sat down and turned my show on. And Spirit's like, no, you're supposed to be at the desk. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I paused it. <laughs> Somebody's letting somebody go. I'm seeing, um, I'm hearing that song, five, four, three, two, I let one go. Somebody's letting someone go. Yeah, that's like that crossroads energy. So you may have to let someone go or someone letting someone go to be with you or something like that. Okay. Oh, gosh, I'm hearing some bullshit trying to sneak in, but I'm going to try to keep it on the positive note right now. Let's keep it on the positive note. And they want me to use my new Oracle deck that I just got. I mean, my new tarot deck that I just got. Hold on, y'all. I got to go turn that air off. I mean, the heat off. Well, daggone, never mind. As soon as I said heat off, it went off. That's what you call a line, being in alignment right there. Okay. I said heat off and that shut off. <laughs> okay. Current time is 232. Okay. I feel like that's relevant. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm in a good mood. I hope everybody else is in a good mood. Like, okay. Let's just see where this goes. Three. I see 232. That's the current time where I am. So let's see what this angel number is. Is <clears throat> it says overall angel number 232 is a powerful reminder to embrace balance trust your intuition and find the joy in the act of creating your angels are with you every step of the way guiding you toward a more fulfilling and creative life okay all right so because that um instance the Ganesh Go Nash, I think that's what it is. And since I want to use the Ganeshian deck that's mixed with, um, I forgot the name of the other deck. But anyways, let's see. Oh my gosh, I say endings and new beginnings. Y'all look, can y'all see it? It's the card number one, beginnings. With all these aces out here, aces are beginnings. And you I, why you ain't hit the like button yet, huh? This what y'all been waiting on? This what we've been waiting on? Why y'all ain't hit the like button yet? Look at the damn divine masculine. Child, I'm done. Promise of the future. This is about the future. <laughs> okay, get excited, people. Get excited. Listen. Oh, my gosh. Spirit. What's going on here? <laughs> Commitment. Ooh, I'm hearing Jasmine, Stephanie, Cecily, Dominique, Christy. Oh, gosh. I'm hearing um, understanding. Ooh, I just heard what I need from you is understanding. How can we communicate if you don't hear what I say? Somebody wants to communicate. Somebody wants to tell you something. Somebody wants to make something clear to you. I picked up the Luminosity card. Okay, all of these fell out. I'm going to put them back in. Ooh, what else we need from this deck, Spirit? Anything else? Inner knowing. Some of y'all feel this coming. I heard self-confidence. Okay, your self-confidence could be growing. Okay, your spiritual confidence. Some of y'all feel this coming. You know it coming. You know it coming. <laughs> you know it's coming. I feel it coming. Oh, my gosh. Something about December is significant. Something about January um, and April as well. Okay, December 1st could be significant. Um, January 12th could be significant December 4th January 4th April 1st April 12th okay Ooh, let's see what else there what else yin and yang child that's that's when flame energy 
that's soulmate energy. That's meant to be. That's destiny energy. That's will of fortune energy, baby. Somebody could be 36, April. I mean, uh, March the 6th could be significant. Whew. Your spiritual practice is bringing in this abundance for you. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it, Libra. Okay, it's bringing in this abundance for you. You're believing, you're manifesting, you're healing. Continue to clear your energy and stay in high vibes. Yeah, joy. Continue to clear your energy and stay in high vibes, positive mindsets. Okay, somebody could be 47. April the 7th could be significant. Um, yeah, I see 11 out here, or you could be seeing one, one. Um, November 12th or December 11th upcoming dates could be significant. December 19th, January 19th, April 19th is out here. January 16th, January 19th, okay. 19 could be significant. All of your determination and courage is bringing in this prosperity for you because you, you deserve it. Belonging is here. You're getting what belongs to you. I'm hearing, I belong to you. I give all my love to you every time I see your face. It makes me want to sing. And every time I think about your love, it drives me crazy. Oh, so cute. I'm loving this energy. See my lady. <laughs> all right, anything else? The gardener. Yeah, this is what you cultivated, what you manifested. You're the gardener. You're the creator of your own world. You are, you know, this is coming maturity, boundaries, forgiveness. Yeah, because you've grown spiritually and maturely, spiritually, and um, uh, somebody's grown spiritually. And why did I say maturely, spiritually, and and I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say. Grown <laughs> spiritually, mature, spiritually mature, and emotionally mature, and emotionally stable, and just more mature. Somebody's grown. Somebody set their boundaries. Somebody's learned forgiveness here. Okay, insight and and, and uh, energetic empowerment. Whew. You have strong insight about the situation or what's coming um, forward towards you. Somebody has gained some type of insight on something, and somebody is like laser focused. Y'all see? Can y'all see how this elephant is? They got their, you know, got their, um, like this, like laser focused. Yeah, somebody's like laser focused on you. Somebody likes the way you move. I'm hearing, I like the way you move. Da -da -da. I like the way you move. Ooh. <laughs> hey, baby, girl, don't you stop. Listen, y'all know when I be channeling like this, these are divine masculine messages. I'm picking up. The energy of the divine masculine. And I'm picking, I heard who's ready. I'm picking up the energy of the divine masculine who is ready. And you have the divine masculine energy out here. Hello. Hello. Yes. Feeling it. I'm feeling my sick. <laughs> Y'all know when I channel a whole bunch of songs, they usually be divine masculine. And they usually be some sad ass, I miss you type of looking at gazing out the window. You know, 90s R&B cover, gave his, gazing out the window all sad and stuff type of music. But, nah, he ready. He ready. <laughs> Reflection, been thinking about it. Yeah. December 23rd is out here. December 2nd, December 14th, um, December 26th, December 5th, um, February 23rd. February 12th, February 14th. I said something about February 14th in the last read. So y'all, shoot. If y'all are talking to somebody now that you, you if you resonated with this message, oh, child. Divine Feminine then came out here with the Abundance card and another one. So you officially have 111 out here. If you guys, you got 1111 out here with all these aces. If you guys are um currently talking to someone, Child, that is number 11. The Divine Feminine is number 11. That's literally 111. I wasn't even talking about that. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about this. I was talking about the other ones out here. Okay. So 111, yeah, definitely new beginning, fresh start. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine that came out here with abundance, child. Something about February 14th is insignificant, okay? I'm telling you. Okay, Libra. Sorry I had to pause, but you had some other cards that fell out here okay so 
Some of you um could have been dating a distorted masculine that you thought was your soulmate. I'm getting that that is not the case. Okay, August, October, or um could be significant. Somebody could be 33. Okay. Um, yeah. October 8th or August 10th could be significant. Something about 33. Something about 333. Three, three. This is number three on the bottom of the deck. You have the support of the divine. Divine support. This is um a divinely guided, orchestrated, and a divinely... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, approved. Yes. I'm hearing, I'm hearing we approve of this message. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 144 four could be significant. Oh, part of the collective. This is definitely your person. <laughs> Both of y'all... Both of you and your person could have some type of like spiritual gifts or you have some type of spiritual destiny. Blessings. Oh my God. And this is 4-4. Four, four. Y'all, this is like the best reading I've ever done. I swear. Be honest and open with yourself. Be honest and open with your person here. Yeah, you manifested this connection. Mm-hmm. Sure did. You manifested this connection. Yes, you did. Anything else from this day? Smash that like button. Smash that like button. If you guys are interested in knowing more about this and if you feel like this is your situation, get your girl up for a love reading, okay? Healing. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. <laughs> Sexuality, soulmates, distorted masculine dating, divine support. Oh, yeah. See, somebody thought that somebody that you had this heavy sexual energy or chemistry with was your soulmate or something. But it was like the, a distorted, distorted energy or something like that. Okay. What the healing card out here? I feel like this is a healing connection. Um, And I feel like you guys have both been healing and you guys heal each other. Okay. For some, for I, I feel like this is a new person. Like, I don't even feel like this is nobody that we, I don't feel like this is nobody from the past. Spirit said it's not. I don't feel like it's anybody that you've ever been with before, dealt with. This is, this feels like a brand shiny spanking new person. Okay, gift wrap just for you. The box ain't never been opened. It's a brand new toy that ain't never been played with. Okay, it's a limited edition that's still in the pack. Okay, like you can sell it on eBay for like a lot of money. Not that people are worth money, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, it's like that. This is like that new, that new. Okay, for you. So I, I'm not feeling like this is really about an ex. Now, the only way that it could possibly be about an ex is if this is somebody I'm talking about that completely changed their whole life. I'm talking about they done did a complete 180. They a brand spanking new person. You wouldn't even recognize this person. If you saw them, if you heard them talk, you would like, you'd be like, who took over your body? Okay. But I really feel like this is a new, 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 new person. But it has, it, there's healing here. The healing is out here. And I said somebody that's been healing themselves. So if it's a past person, this person has done a lot of healing work. Do you hear me? I'm talking about a lot. Like you're not even going to be able to recognize this person. They can look exactly the same, but their spirit, their aura, their glow, and things like that. Maybe even their walk and their talk are going to be complete. Like they're completely different people. Wow. Okay. So that was for somebody. Where are we going next? Are you tea leaves? Okay, we're gonna use tea leaves next. <laughs> you split it on the tour, it's slowly but surely getting ahead. So for some of y'all, this has been a long time coming. Y'all been waiting. Y'all been like, it's been a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Some of y'all been waiting on your person so long, you just been in the corner singing old hymns and Negro spirituals, just rocking back and forth like, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. <laughs> well, it's coming. 
spirit said is here. Look at that new home, new attitude. Some of y'all will be moving in with this person, getting a brand new home. Some of you are going to meet this person after you move or get a new home. For some of you, I'm hearing construction. So either this person could work in construction or um, this could be somebody, if you're getting like a house built or something, you may meet this person. They may be working on your house. They may be like your contractor or something like that. Okay, that's for somebody, honey. All right. That's cute. Oh, that's a cute little story. Opportunity or windfalls. Carrots here. Eat more carrots. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> I don't know who needed to hear that, but eat your vegetables. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Yeah, this is coming in after some type of ending. And then there's a new beginning. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise, honey. Yeah. <clears throat> endings. And didn't I say endings and new beginnings? Yes. Messages. What's the message is, please, Spirit? I got a new attitude. I got a dance in my shoes. Okay, you have affairs with your family? Hmm, something going on with somebody's family. Now, this could be good or bad because um, I put it fell over here where the blessings are. So, this could be good. This could be a blessing for you, a blessing for your family. It says work and achievement and success. Okay. So I feel like this is somebody going to be hard working. Again, you guys can meet this person at work or on your job or something like that. Um, or you've been you've been working at something a lot. You're about to see some type of achievement and success. Yep. Ladder climbing towards success. I'm here at the top of the food chain. You're giving me the scene from Lion King. <laughs> I, I pick up Lion King so much. Somebody really loves that movie. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Fell on top of climbing towards success. And then opportunity or windfall. Yep, came back out. Dealings are a relationship with a younger woman. Of course, you got someone working against you or behind your back. Watching you get out and celebrate and have fun. Yeah, we're not paying attention to that. Something about July could be significant. Oop, you will be receiving a precious gift. So some of you may be receiving a precious gift in July or maybe from a Cancer or a Gemini, honey. I don't know. But let's see. Yeah. See, that's... Yeah. Anyway. We're keeping this reading positive and high vibing, okay? We fly high. No lie. You know this falling. <laughs> Somebody's masculine likes likes rap or likes, likes good music. I, I think y'all have a musical connection. This person may like singing along to the music in the car. Okay. Maybe you both do. I'm here. Oh, this is somebody. This person is not playing, child. They mean forever. Okay. I heard we ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. You will receive a gift. Someone is stubborn and unwilling to change. I'm trying to focus on positive messages here, y'all. Okay. Temporary situation. So something, some situation is ending here, okay? Remember I said there was somebody that was in y'all energy that you thought was your person, but it's really not. I feel like that's the temporary situation here because you have temporary situation that came out with Dylan's our relationship with a man and we already saw the ending of a situation. So in January, could we have something to do with um, a Capricorn? Uh, what, what's January? Capricorn and uh, Pisces? Aquarius? Capricorn Aquarius, okay? Um, or you'll be receiving a gift in January or from a Capricorn or Aquarius. Don't be tempted to lower your standards and make sure that you find out information. Um, make sure you just find out all the all information about somebody. There could be a... Uh, yeah, I feel like there's an older person that's older than you that may try to get you to lower your standards so i don't know if it's like a ex or and it don't have to be significantly older than you but i don't know if it's an ex or like a it's an older man you have dark dealing with our relationship with a dark woman that may be um a stubborn or aggressive could be a taurus energy dark woman or somebody with dark hair a woman with dark hair you have love deep affection and caring Okay. 
feel like that's like, like interference type of energy. See, a meeting with a stranger could be important. I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, it's a brand spanking new person. It's a brand new person. For Libra, oh, no, I'm going to cut the deck, sorry. Okay, temptation will test you. Yeah. I I felt that. I felt that. I don't know. And that's that older man I think I was just talking about. Or just another person. Or I don't know. Somebody that you're not supposed to be dealing with. That you may be tempted by. Okay, it says danger, especially in money matters. So watch your money. Be careful with your money. You're spending. Um, news is on the way. Could be getting some type of news. I don't know if it's bad news or good news. It just says news. And then you have a journey, either physical or mental, which is the carriage. Somebody could be pregnant. Um, somebody is going on some type of journey. Ooh, child, look on the bottom of the deck. I feel like it's an end career. You got, uh, you got money, love, <laughs> and marriage, career, and coins. Baby, money will be coming to you. Make sure that you um, use that money to plan ahead. Unsettled time, going to need to plan ahead. Something about a woman and a period of frustration. Yeah, I just feel like that's somebody that's trying to tempt you or tempt your person. Somebody's trying to come in between this, okay? I'm surprised the wedge card didn't come out. But something coming in between you and, and another person, yeah. Yeah. And, and y'all know those people always try to slip slip in, but we ain't going to do it. See, you got older man and older woman showing up, and then you have marriage, and then you have younger man out here with younger woman. You, for some of you, this ain't for everybody, but you and whoever this person is could have both been dealing, been dealing with, either both of you were dealing with somebody who was older than you, or both of you were dealing with somebody who was younger than you, okay? at the time and i feel like that's something that you have in common i don't know maybe that's more confirmation you got all these dogs out here somebody got dogs or you guys may get a dog together or something like that there's a lot of dogs out here somebody loves dogs okay a new job or career coming in uh pleasure with a close friend getting together with friends and advice from a friend somebody is talking to their friends pay attention to your work and and celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Somebody may be talking to their friends about you. Or you may be talking to your friends about this person. Child. Oh, I not, I'll pick all those up in a minute. All right, let's pull some tarot, guys, and see what's going on here. Um, I just got this deck. This little doodle deck I've been wanting for a while. But I decided to go with the smaller one just to test it out. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the bigger one, too. But anyways, let's see. What's going on here? Let me do a little cleanse because it's my first time using them. Please wax these cards. Help me use my intuition. Please remove any negative energy from these cards. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. give these a good shuffle Ooh, split it on the sun card baby joy success celebration and positivity yes uh, happiness happiness <laughs> oh shoot okay this is lovely i love this reading guys go ahead and smash that like button be ready for some reciprocity. I see the Six of Pentacles. Something's coming to an end. Oh, that indecisiveness is coming to an end. I feel like somebody's marriage could also be coming to an end. I just saw the death card in the higher fence, Scorpio Taurus energy. So this could be either you or this person. Like I say, y'all both could have been dealing with somebody. Okay. Um, somebody thinking about you. 
Y'all both could have been dealing with somebody that, um, somebody else at the time, okay? Somebody could have been married. Just trying to get a good shuffle, y'all. This is my first time using the deck. Okay, we got the tower. Okay. So something falling apart here. Okay. Yeah, two of swords. I feel like, again, the end to indecisiveness. Okay. Somebody making a decision. You got an offer coming here. Page of Cups to the Ten of Cups and the Sun. There, ooh, and the Fool card. There's an offer that's going to make you happy, honey. And somebody going to be up in their head about this, though. I feel like it's these past people, past energies. Okay, you have the higher fence. You have, I keep trying to figure out what that noise is. <laughs> and it's my bracelet. Okay. Um, you have the Hierophant here. To the lovers. I told y'all the chariot. Oh, somebody coming forward to make you an offer, boo. Yeah. Somebody coming to make an offer. Chariot is here. And somebody going to be sad about this with the Five of Cups showing up. Yeah. Somebody going to be sad. Somebody's not going to be in, like, disbelief. Not going to be able to, to, to believe that you've moved on for real, for real. Okay, I'm getting somebody may slide in your inbox. Like, really? This is what we doing? Like, child I don't know who that's for, but... <laughs> yeah. Oop, the Emperor. Divine masculine showing up. The emperor, he said, he said what he said. Okay, he ready. He ready. Oh, you got the five of swords flying out here to the seven of wands. Okay, hold on now. Dang, okay, okay. Y'all want to talk? Let's talk. So let's see. Hold on, y'all. Because the emperor came out here in a lot of book. Mm. <laughs> I say a lot of bullshit came behind him now. So yeah, this this emperor might be, you know, dealing with some some things, okay? Could have some toxic attachments here. Um abuse conflict. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is somebody that's gonna protect you. Yeah. Okay. This is somebody who wants to protect you. This particular masculine, yeah, there it is right there, protective. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to protect you. This particular masculine is tired of the shit. Let me tell you that right now, okay? There could be people that are trying to come up against you or will try to come up against you too. And, and you know, this masculine is somebody that's going to ride for you, okay? And I'm talking about he is not with the shit. Do you hear me? He's not with the shit. And he's like, I'm not about to play with nobody about you like we're not about to do that and so i feel like um this divine masculine energy is is ready for whatever he would he would he would it yeah anybody that's trying to bring in any negativity or anything to this situation he ain't he not having it he not having it i see communication here a conversation happening. All right. Conversation coming in. Yeah, death card. You're not having it. I said endings and, and new beginnings. You have the death card, which is endings and new beginnings. Change happening, a transformation. And then you have the six of wands, which is a victory. Okay. Just a side note. If you're in any type of um battle or if it, okay, this could be court too. This could be like a divorce. Remember I said somebody could be married. That situation is going to turn out. Okay, okay, that situation is going to be fine. It may be like a long, hard struggle, or I don't know how long. It may be a struggle, it may be tiring, and it may be like uh, draining or whatever, but the ending result is going to be good, okay? Yeah, whoever this person is, this emperor energy is, is, is very, um, well, you know, very protective of you. They don't, they don't play about you, Libra. They're not going to play about you. They're going to be ready to defeat anybody that comes towards you or y'all or try to tear down this connection or whatever. And they're like, look, uh -uh, we ain't doing that. Strength card, yeah. <laughs> 
Could be a Leo. Has Aries energy out here as well. Tell me about this person coming toward Libra. Tell me about this person coming toward Libra. What, tell me about this emperor. Ooh, the lovers. So, oh, and it came out blocked under blessing. So somebody is definitely trying to block this blessing, child. Could be a Gemini that's trying to block this blessing for you. But they can try. They can try, but they can't take that away from me. King of Pentacles. Girl, this is on the card. I'm about to say, who wrote this on the card? <laughs> to 11 to 11 it says, call me. On this card right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but right here in the corner, it says, call me, 222 <laughs> I'm like, what is that? All right, Nine of Pentacles um, is here, and the Sun card. Yeah, this is somebody who's very stable. Oh, yeah, King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Somebody very stable, very sexual, very um, attractive, attracted to you. Somebody's going to make you happy. You have Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini energy. Okay. We're talking about this emperor energy that's coming in for you. This is somebody who's hardworking. Okay. This person could have recently started a new job or they could just could be like really hard workers. They may have Virgo strongly um, placed in their chart. Could the Virgo, the hermit. Yeah, they could have Virgo, um, strong Virgo placements in their chart. Ace of Swords. This is somebody that's honest, is going to be honest and truthful with you, ready to start a new journey and a new beginning here, okay? First, could also be smart. Ace of Cups. <laughs> There's two aces. Okay. New love. <laughs> the star card, Aquarius energy. All right. I'm surprised no, none of the aces came out here. But yeah, this person is going to be hardworking. Again, could work with their hands. He's got a hammer here. Looks like he's building something. Um, could be like artistic or something like that. Um, may even be good with kids. That is not what I was about to say at all. I was about to say something about a garden with the flowers and stuff here, but could be good with kids. They could have their own kids, okay, or a child or something like that. Um, yeah, King of Pentacles could be a businessman, somebody that's you know is financially stable or successful or like an entrepreneur split it on Virgo again. I feel like this is somebody that is um could be spiritual or they could be um they they practice something. They they're spiritual. They're very spiritual or they're very um I don't want to say Christian, but you know, they they have they 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 stand firm in their beliefs. They have good beliefs. They may be spiritual or you just maybe you they're, they're on, um, I feel like this person has been on a path, though, like an enlightening path here, okay? Got three of swords on the bottom, heartbreak. Oh, somebody's going to be heartbroken over this union. Or this is healing. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Uh -uh. What else? Anything else we need to know, Spirit? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Mm. And, uh, yeah, King of Pentacles. So whoever this is is your counterpart. I'm surprised the Empress hasn't come out. I saw her in the deck, but I'm surprised she didn't come out. Ace of Wands, King of Wands, and Three of Wands. Jeez Louise, what is this? That's another option. You guys have another option coming in to shoot their shot. Yep. There's another option. Could be a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All fire. This is a lot of passion, though. A lot of passion. The chariot. This person is like going on somewhere now, dude. Now, uh uh. Okay, two of cups to the three. Yep, three of cups. Another option, I told you. Yeah. See, there's two. Right? Two of cups. And then, boom, there's three. <laughs> and this person, the chariot fell over here like, uh-uh, go on on now, man. Move, move along. We're good. Go ahead. Go on. Yeah, somebody definitely is into construction, works with their hands here. Or somebody's like a very hard worker. There's the empress to the high priestess. He's not the fool. 
Yeah, I see you guys moving on to a new beginning. Oh, there's the Queen and the Knight of Swords together. Yeah. I, I do feel like you guys may have a decision to make here, but um, it looks like this person came out straight wands. All about passion and lust and sex and stuff like that. And we said that in the last deck, Two of Cups. I mean, in one of the last readings. The star card showing up Aquarius energy. I feel like you guys are showing up as this queen of pentacles, very abundant. Okay. You're showing up as a counterpart to the king of pentacles. Okay. So you're in, in empress queen of pentacles energy. Okay. Six of cups. Somebody from your past. Some of you, this is somebody from the past. Or you oh judgment, you're ending something with somebody from the past. Somebody from the past is thinking about you or thinking about an ending. You have the food card to the Empress. You're on to a new beginning. Endings and new beginnings. You know. Very intuitive here. Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah, this is something that y'all been waiting for. Manifested praying on. Child, Ace of Cups. The same card we started off with, I'm going to end it with right here. Ace of Cups, New Love. This is, y'all don't even know nothing about this coming in. Y'all, you don't even see it coming, honey. You don't even see it coming. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I hope that this helped. I'll see you guys in, um, in another read. Bye.